It was a May day very like this one six years ago that I walked out along the field path, met the Roman road, followed that to the Icknield Way and so began the adventures that eventually became the Old Ways. Paths are made by many people inevitably. It's impossible to make a path on your own really. And when I walk, I'm aware that I'm walking in the tracks literally of people I'll never know, but also following the example of people I do admire hugely, people like the poet Edward Thomas or the writer Nan Shepherd who walked in the mountains of the Cairngorms. And so we could think of a path not just as a, as a geological trace, a mark in the land, but also as an accumulation of stories. And each new wayfarer adds a layer of story as they walk and as they go. So any journey that sets out wayfaring is inevitably going to be lead to amazing encounters, to stories told and drinks drunk and miles followed together. I've always walked, my eyes have always been drawn by lines in the lands, by paths and the promise they hold of exploration and discovery. Wayfaring, as I imagine it then, is path following. It's travelling on foot with no particular fixed destination in mind. It's pursuing the stories of a path and the meetings it brings, and in this way, allowing you to travel not just across, but into a landscape. Driftways, lichways, ridings, halter paths, cartways, carnies, causeways, here paths, old ways, 